guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragons. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, you did that? She did it. Peace and joy. Mm Maybe now you kind of giving her a little too much Kobayashi, so you can't really depend on her like that. <laughs> Besides, you don't come out, she probably ain't gonna win. <laughs> They're just more frenemies, so even though. Mm, that 
it's so, so good. Come oh, on. <laughs> oh, that definitely was an Easter egg, didn't you, Joe? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Uh. <laughs> Is that supposed to be pretty here? Yeah, I, I think so. Either pretty here, car to Sakura, or um, Fate Prisma Elio. How she even looked like Elio. Kind of. <laughs> that was the best moment of season one. <laughs> oh, that and then Kana and Toru playing. <laughs> doing her sports day <laughs> oh you look so cute Well, he looked a little suspicious. She just coming against Swedes. <laughs> Tor. 
true. Oh, oh my. Really, dog? <laughs> there you go. <sighs> Cody commented on Alma like, yeah, but she made him cry. Far from here? You couldn't go to a, like a park or you know dance studio for the day and rent it out. Oh, shit. Oh, mm.
might as well invite everybody. It's just your other job, George. <laughs> ah, got you, got you. Right. <laughs> well, you got edited, so you know. You guys should be okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that too. Please don't bump into any of them, because that shit is so funny. <laughs> Poor baby. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah. You spin it around. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, being dizzy. But you never really want to go on the, one of those if you ache. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, please don't. No, no, no. so funny <laughs> what the am Toru Because she's in her happy place. <laughs> yeah, I got a little busy. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. 
The belt. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> that That is so hilarious. <laughs> I'm so going to call her that, though. But that kind of, you know, reminds you of how, like, okay, if someone either calls you by your, your first name, and then eventually once they get to know you, you, they eventually call you by their nickname or your nickname and such, and then if they call you by your actual name, you don't respond. me um as a kid my mom told me that anytime when I would call my dad dad my dad wouldn't answer me so I would like dad 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 and, and he wouldn't answer right so I would call my dad by his actual name and he would get mad at me because I called him by his actual name and it's like no you can't be mad at me I kept calling you dad you didn't say anything <laughs> Oh, but this is a cute episode, especially when I'm going to the theme park. It kind of gave me, I think it's called Amagi Park, even though I've never seen that show and I really want to watch that show, aka it's like going to Disneyland every single freaking day and I was like, oh my god. But yeah, it was cute. Like, it was a little date for everybody. Sakawa was like going nuts. I mean, <laughs> girl was in her happy place. <laughs> to be a Pisces but like dead ass yeah it was a cute little day for everybody I mean well you know even though Toru and, and Kobayashi were like doing their own thing and you know Kana um Edudu and Saiko were also doing their own thing but it was still like cute little date moments for them I mean it's just adorable makes you want to go to the music park I don't know if I would still go now because of COVID and shit but um because I mean especially here because <laughs> our numbers are going back up here in Florida because people don't want to wear their fucking masks, but, um, <laughs> like, day one, I think, from what I had saw on, like, TikTok, people was rushing to, like, fucking, um, Orlando, not Orlando, Universal Studios and freaking Disney just to go back. Like, I, I get that, like, especially wanting to go, especially if you're someone who really loves to go to either Disney or, Orla or Universal Studios. Um, and that sense of, like, you know, your place of zen, like, your happy place and such, and not being able to go there for over a whole year, but, I mean, the biggest thing is the problem that I had about that was there was no security, especially at Universal Studios. Like, there's usually security at Disney, but, like, Universal, that very first day when they open back up, hell nah. But, <laughs> it was just a cute little thing. I mean, oh my god. Toru. <laughs> Toru. Going on patrol. <laughs> First with the neighbor and then Alma. I think the neighbor's voice sounded very familiar to me. I honestly could not think of the name of the Seiyu, but or even like anything that that Seiyu's been been in for anything that I've seen. Because I was I'm sitting here for like a moment. I'm like, damn, like who is that? <laughs> This is the one thing that I love slash dislike about watching an anime, and the next thing you know, I'm like watching something, and then someone talks, and I'm like. 
I know that. Say you. It, let me tell you, it's even worse when I, like, okay, because your girl just kind of got back into Genshin, and every single time when I hear any character talk, and I'm like, oh, that's such and 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 such. And then it's worse when it's like, oh, it's a freaking say you really like and such. And then you're also in Genshin, and you want the character that they play, and then you don't get the card. Okay, bullshit. <laughs> But Toru beat the shit out of dude. Oh my god. And in the end, he goes out and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna go train in the forest, knock a tree. <laughs> this is a bear gonna beat the shit out of him. Oh god. Woo. I, I would hate to be <laughs> I was also kind of expecting to see both Shota and Logan in today's episode, but. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see them maybe next week, but we're finally getting to see the guy who I'm guessing is going to, like, have a relationship or a crush or something with Edidu. And I hope it's really good. I mean, because, yeah, like, because she's very, like, intimidating because of this and everything. So, of course, like, most all guys are going to look at this instead of our face <laughs> But I think, you know, she she might be brutally honest. She may, you know, say, like, hey, you know, eyes up here, not here. Like, I know. <laughs> we ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Wednesday for episode five. Bye, guys.